All right, guys, Rocker Pat here. All right, y'all wanted to do see a uh, walk around during the daytime with the 1947 Chevrolet pick'em up truck. Well, I'm on my way to go deliver this bad boy right now as we speak. He doesn't even know I'm on my way. And uh, thought I'd bring it over here where I fly my little helicopters and give y'all a walk around. What do y'all think? This way you can see it during the daylight, not with my badass disco lighting going on, as they say. All right, we've walked around. We're gonna go and get in it, take it for a drive. I think I've got right at five miles on her right now. And everything seems to be working pretty good except for our one issue, but I hope it'll work itself out. All right, I'm gonna clip y'all right over here. Hopefully y'all don't get turned off or anything in the process. Probably gonna check you in a second, make sure you're still on there. Looks good to me. All right, looking good. Let's take this thing for a rock and roll ride. We got 4.9 miles on it and I keep looking for the seat belts creature of habits didn't push that button in far enough that is one thing you got to make sure you do with that push button thing all right here we go let's go rocking and rolling A squeak in my uh, clutch pedal so if you hear something go squeaky squeaky it's my clutch pedal and I gotta work on my shifter maybe a little bit I think you almost got to come to a stop to Your chug. Bit of trouble getting third gear out. Hopefully that'll break itself in. Racing to see Bernice all alone. Bob built the cool rat rod and you said that you drive. You hit the throttle and you were gone. Open these vents over here. What the hell's with this red light, man? I don't think there's a rock and roll truck ready to go. Here we go, man. I got that vent open in the front now. Got a little uh, 1947 Chevrolet pick'em up truck air conditioning. Blasting hot air at my feet. We only 
got two more stoplights to go, boys. We'll be in delivery zone. I really want old boy to go take his wife over to the Sonic and get a cheeseburger tonight. We've been battling rain over here for the last three or four weeks and it's been, the truck hasn't been able to go anywhere. I got 6.3 miles on her right now. We're doing 50 miles an hour. I can let go of the steering wheel. I think she's doing pretty good for never being on the alignment machine. The steering wheel's off just the hair. But I'm gonna get back. It ain't like it's the last time it's gonna be in my possession. I just keep the old girl, his wife, she got the shakes just like Lee Schwinn does, the guy that gave me that old car. And she's starting to get, you know, this starting to affect her, so I really would like to get this thing over to him and, you know, make things square. We're almost there, we got one more stoplight to go. I'll show you where my old shop used to be. I miss that old shop. We got Ellington Field across the street to my uh, immediate left. That's where the president comes in. God bless Donald Trump. All the astronauts fly their airplanes right over here. This is how I know where I got an astronaut customer from. Because the shop is right here across the street from the astronaut shop. And, you know, eventually they see I work on old cars. He's got a 66 uh, Mustang. All right, we're about here. <laughs> We're going to be announcing our presence with Super, Super Duper Cooper Cool. shop right there. Let's see if we get his attention. Customers are around. Where's Mike at? Tell him it's down there. Tell him it's down there. The truck. Are you going to see him? I was seeing where Mike was. If you see him in there, tell him this truck's down there. He's been waiting to see this. Oh, the red one? Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. We're here. Making our presence known. All right, guys. Here we are. We made it over here to our location. We got exactly 7.7 .7 miles. We need one more seven. It's super su lucky. All right, guys, y'all keep rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking. And I'll keep grinding it down. Talk to y'all next time.